his spirit of uh, of bringing mindfulness to our daily lives yeah, and to transform our collective suffering not as a not as an individual but as a community so a lot of really a lot of our practice is in community okay so the first song is uh, this song has been probably number one on the Plum Village billboard charts for like 40 years it's called breathing in breathing out so this song uh, uh, we have a, a meditation that invites us to cultivate uh, the elements of nature in us you know so you know we always say that the best gift that we can give to to uh, our the people we love is our presence yeah. our presence we can't be how can we love someone if we are not there for that person if you're not present and so this song reminds us how we can be present so we all you know when we think of uh, the people we love to be with to hang out with we always think of uh, people who are fresh, right? Like children, for example, very fresh. Or people who are always like, <sighs> you know, hi, you know. So the fresh like a flower. Yeah? And when we think of people that we really love to be with, we think of people who are very solid, very dependable, you know. Like br Brother Bobby, for example, comes across as someone I can rely on, you know. <laughs> so very solid as a mountain. And then we also we love to be with people who are who have that calm presence, right? Uh, people who are very still, who listen very well, who um, who just helps us slow down. Yeah, we love people like that. They don't have to talk a lot. They don't have to uh, be in the limelight, but they're just always there for us. Yeah, calm people. And then we also lo love people whose presence help us be free you know people who are very spacious i think if we think in our lives we love to be with people who are very whose hearts are very big who who are very spacious always okay just come always have uh, room for us in their hearts so this song is inviting us to touch all these qualities that we already have in us of qualities of presence yeah. so so when we sing it we can Try and touch that quality, and also touch the quality of these people we love that have these 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 qualities of presence. Okay, it's got some movements. Ah, Joyce is here. Joyce, come. So she, <laughs> so Joyce will will I will sing because I need to use the mic, and then Joyce can help also with the movements. And please follow the movements. Okay, we'll sing it twice. So first time for those who know, and then second time all together. The words are in page one one one, song number one. Ready? Okay, I feel like sitting down, but it's a bit low. Okay, ready? Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I am blooming as a flower. I am fresh as the dew. I am solid as a mountain. I am firm as the earth. I am free. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I am water reflecting what is real. What is true, and I feel there is space deep inside of me. I am free, I am free, 
I am free. Okay, one more time. Really feel the words. Huh? Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. I am blooming as a flower. I am fresh as the dew. I am solid as a mountain. I am firm as the earth. I am free. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. I am water reflecting what is real, what is true. And I feel there is space deep inside of me. I am free, I am free, I am free. <laughs> okay, this is how we clap in Plum Village. <laughs> so we offer flowers instead of clapping. Because we love silence uh, so much, so we clap like that. So thank you, offering flowers to everyone. Yeah, so beautiful, huh? The singing, the energy. Like I hope you all felt that. Yeah. So uh, we have another song. It's uh, now that uh, we feel good. Uh, we have this song, which is number two on the Billboard charts. Uh, it's called Happiness. Uh, happiness. So the the, the words speak for themselves. Um, but our teacher, uh, Thai and Trish, uh, always reminds us that uh, in any given moment, we can touch the conditions of happiness that we already have. We already have enough conditions of happiness in every moment. So, so when we realize that oh, we have BGF's beautiful room, we have everybody, we have the time to come, we are still healthy, our eyes are still healthy, when we touch all the numerous conditions of happiness already in this present moment, then uh, we will smile and, and, and happiness is born in us. And if we can keep practicing that, uh, it will help us uh, cultivate the habit of happiness. And, uh, and then when we have the habit of happiness, uh, when suffering comes, uh, we have the strength to be with our suffering. Yeah. So this song is called Happiness. So we'll sing together. Um, there's there's no movements, but uh, we, let's try and sing it with uh, with joy. Yeah. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. No longer in a hurry. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Somewhere to go, something to do. But I don't need to hurry. One more time. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. No longer in a hurry. 
happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Somewhere to go, something to do. But I don't need to hurry. Are you sure you all don't know Plum Village? <laughs> Everybody sang so well. Yeah. Thank you very much for your singing. Thank you, Sister Joyce. Yeah. Flowers for Sister Joyce. <laughs> so, um, so it's uh, before we uh, invite uh, Sister Trish to 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 uh, give us a Dharma talk, and I think we'll have some time for questions and answers. Um, so traditionally, uh, before we begin a day of mindfulness, we just have a few, uh, I guess, guidelines or aspirations and uh, practices throughout the day that we have together. And if you don't mind, I will just share some of that. Yeah. Um, a day of mindfulness is a day that we gift to ourselves. Yeah. It's a gift that we give to ourselves. When we say retreat, it's a treat. Yeah. So we treat ourselves to a day of mindfulness. So we try to, it's a time for us to finally take care of ourselves, to have time and space to reflect, to share, to connect with uh, spiritual siblings. So it's really a gift. So a gift makes us happy. If uh, you are in a day of mindfulness and you are struggling, then maybe you're not, uh, you, you still, you need to remind yourself that it's a gift. So we need try to enjoy ourselves today but sometimes, of course, there is difficulties that come up and we, we allow the collective energy to, to hold it and we, we try to be with it. And that's also okay. Yeah. But it's first of all a gift. Uh, it's a, you can think of it as a typical day in Plum Village. Uh, this is really what happens every day in a monastery in Plum Village. Uh, we practice, uh, we bring the energy of mindfulness into the everyday, ordinary acts of our lives. So we are not going to sit for two hours and practice a, you know, walking meditation for three hours. We are not going to do that. We are going to bring the practice into our everyday uh, activities. So today we have a, a whole uh, program from sitting to sharing to eating to lying down to total relaxation, to listening to a Dharma talk. So we practice bringing mindfulness to every, uh, every uh, activity today. And the way we do that is uh, uh, there are a few uh, friends that help us do that. There are a few friends. So the first friend is our breath. The first friend, B, breath. And uh, some of us were walking together this morning. Uh, we our breath is the bridge that brings us back to our bodies. And when mind and bodies are together, we are present. Uh, we are present. And the energy of mindfulness is born when we become aware of our breathing. So at any point in time today, you feel that, uh, oh, my thoughts are running away, or oh, something's on my heart, thinking about someone, or something is a project or a plan. If we find ourselves in that state of mind, we just smile and say, Let's ask my friend for help, my breath, and breathe in and breathe out, and follow our in-breath and ride our in-breath back, back, back to this present moment. And the more we do that again and again, follow our in and out breath, uh, the more we establish our presence, yeah, and we build the habit, the neural pathway. So the first uh, practice that we will do throughout the day uh, by ourselves, whenever we find ourselves, uh, uh, distracted or something's coming up is to come back to our breathing. So that's our first friend. Always there for us. 24 hours, our breathing, our breath. Yeah. And then the second friend that we have to help us uh, throughout the day is our friend, the bell. And today our bell master is uh, Sister Connie. She lives just around the corner. Hey, thank you, Sister Connie. Uh, so in Plum Village, we invite the bell a lot. So in a monastery, every 15 minutes or less, some bell will be invited. 
And even if 2,000 people are talking or doing something, we all, whenever we hear a bell, we all pause whatever we are doing and we come back to our breathing. Come back to our breathing. So it's almost sometimes it's quite cinematographic. You see 2,000 people just <laughs> and they just come back to our breathing and, and we smile to enjoy three or four breaths and then we continue what we are doing. So that's the practice of the bell. It's very important. Uh, so I would like to invite uh, Sister Connie to invite our friend and our bell came all the way from Kota Kamuning. <laughs> so let's uh, listen to the bell and we can say to ourselves, listen, listen, the sound of this bell brings me back to my true home in the present moment. Yeah, just allow the sound to penetrate our, every cell of our body, our friend, and just come back to our breathing. So let's enjoy one sound of the bell. First a half sound to wake up our friend, and then we invite a full sound of the bell. Thank you, thank you, Sister Connie. I can I can feel everyone really listening to the bell. That's very beautiful. Yeah. So that's the second practice. So we'll hear bells all along today uh, as we embark on this journey of uh, a day of mindfulness together. So every time we, we can, if we do this, if we imagine if this is in our everyday life, this energy that we feel now. Mm. Um, so that's that's the second B. And the third B is uh, um, is our beginner's mind. So I know that some of us, uh, we all come from different faith uh, backgrounds, some of us different traditions in Buddhism, some of us non-Buddhism, some of us are atheists, scientists, or cosmologists, uh, or, uh, uh, agnostic, or whatever. Um, but we all have a beginner's mind. We all have. We all know the time when we were a child, and everything was fascinating yeah, to us. And in order for us to uh, receive wisdom or to have our own insights, uh, our teacher Tai always says that we need to let go of what we already know. Yeah, we need to let go of what we already know, so that we can welcome new wisdom or new understanding or new love into our life. Yeah, so. Uh, really want to invite everyone for these few hours that we are together and to sort of touch that curiosity in us, that, in, that beginner's mind, the choosing, huh? choosing, or the mind of love, the mind of like, I love this world. Wow. You know? If we spend time with uh, Sister Trish, you will realize that that's what she does all the time. She goes, oh, wow. Carrot cake. <laughs> Oh wow! Is a very common first two words that come up comes out of Sister Trish. <laughs> so, so beginner's mind. So we invite you to oh wow, uh, oh wow today all day today. So that's the three B's. So we have a few S's as well. So the first S, throughout the day we can uh, we can practice, and a lot of us are already doing it. Is smiling. You can see it's very very beautiful smiles everywhere. Some in the mask may be smiling also, but I can see. I know you are, the eyes are smiling. Huh? So smiling in Plum Village is a practice. It's not just when I'm happy, I smile. When I'm not happy, I don't smile. <laughs> smiling is actually a practice. So our teacher, Tai, he says, after so many years, that I only have taught two things, breathing and smiling. Right? So, so why is smiling so important? Because first, smiling relaxes our face. Uh, I don't know how many muscles on our face relaxes when we smile. That's what we, are, we do biologically. So when we smile, we relax. 
and we come back to our body. But smiling also is a gift that we can give. It's contagious. Huh? When I smile at you, you suddenly you smile and everybody smiles. So it's a gift that we can offer. And it's, we don't have to offer money or anything. We can offer our smile. So it's a great gift. Uh, and when we smile to ourselves, we, we introduce metta to ourselves. When we, it's very hard to smile and be angry at ourselves at the same time. Right? So when we smile to ourselves, we begin to cultivate loving kindness to ourselves. And that's something much needed right now. We, are very, we tend to be very harsh on ourselves, very judgmental. But when we smile, the tone of our voice changes. So, so we, and most importantly, when something difficult is happening in our life, our teacher shares that we can smile to our difficulties. We can smile to our difficulties. That's a practice. When we are able to smile at our suffering, we are no longer just our suffering. Our suffering is there. Our smile is also there. Our, our mindfulness is also there. And suddenly, we are not just our suffering. So smiling to our suffering is a very deep practice. Uh, and we can do that together today. So smiling, please smile. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to say fake it till we make it, but, but no, we just smile. Just smile, yeah. So that's the first S. Uh, the second S is silence or stillness. Stillness or silence. So in Plum Village, we say noble silence. Noble silence. Silence is noble. I think there's a song. Huh? Sorry? Peace, be still. Yeah, stillness. So sometimes we use the word stillness instead of silence. Because we can be in a shopping mall where it's very noisy, but we can still be still inside. So silence and stillness is something that we want to treasure today. The default in the working world, in the school, in, is noise and talking. But when we practice a day of mindfulness, the default is silence. So we cherish that. It's time for us to come back and be to be reflect and to just uh, appreciate how beautiful it is to be still and be silent together. Yeah, and if we have our mobile phones and all that, we can put it on silent mode or better still, put it away. You know, the and and just gift ourselves this beautiful day to be still, to reflect, to learn from from our teacher. Um, and even in between activities, we try to maintain that energy of stillness and silence. Yeah. If we need to speak, if it's urgent, uh, we can. Uh, we speak in stillness, so silently, quietly. And we try not to go run away in speech and thought. We try and cherish this silence that is so precious in, in a place like Kuala Lumpur. Huh? So, st so silence and stillness. Is, uh, is a practice. Let's try to do that. And if we find that there's a lot of noise inside, we allow that silence from the collective energy in the room to penetrate us. And slowly we will find that we will calm down. Yeah, we don't have to force it. Just recognize it and allow that slowly to calm down. Yeah. So that's the second S. Okay. And then the, the third S, uh, and I always say this because I'm a bit of a feminist, is sisterhood and brotherhood, or siblinghood. Yeah. Now the gender fluid movement, we say siblinghood, sisterhood, brotherhood. So that's, uh, I think that's one of Thai, Thai's uh, aspirations for all continuation his students, that we, even Martin Luther King, his friends, it's, it's all about siblinghood sisterhood and brotherhood. So today we have a chance to practice sisterhood and brotherhood. Every one of us, uh, uh, we are all uh, one family, one spiritual family. And we have a chance to s listen to one another later, to speak, just feel each other's presence, just flow as a river like we were walking just now. So we are not here as separate individuals. We are here to release and let go and connect with everyone. So just whether it's via energy or via speech or via listening. So we want to bear in mind that throughout the day, everyone we meet around here is our sister and our brother and our sibling. And we show that kind of uh, respect and, and love to them. Yeah. So these are the basic practices 
hopefully uh, it help. It helps. And so we maintain. If you remember any of these practices throughout the day, throughout the day. Okay. So thank you for listening. Um, so before we uh, invite Trish, let's uh, let's have a short sit together. How about that? Uh, short sit together. Um, I'm gonna. So, uh, for those of us new to sitting meditation, we prepare ourselves for a sit by finding a, a comfortable posture. Comfortable posture means uh, our maybe our pelvis is slightly tilted forwards. We can take a, a deep breath and roll our shoulders back like this. And we find that we are, our chest has opened up and our heart has come forward to meet our mind. Yeah? So we walk around like this and our head, our thinking is always ahead of our heart and our body. So we, this is our default. But we open up our chest and relax our shoulders, open our lungs and our hearts. Yeah. But we don't have to be too stiff. Our back can be straight but not too stiff. And then our front, our chest can be soft and warm. Uh, our heart, warm and soft in front. Yeah. Mm. And then we can uh, find a comfortable position for our legs, our posture. We, it can be, you can sit in lotus, semi-lotus. You can Thai style, Burmese style, whatever is most comfortable. Our body. Uh, in Plum Village, we enjoy our sit, we try to enjoy. And at any time we feel uncomfortable or discomfort, we cannot bear with it, feel free to adjust uh, mindfully our posture. And uh, we can gently uh, choose to close our eyes or leave them slightly open and uh, have a gaze in front of something in front of us. Whatever is most uh, comfortable for us. And if we find ourselves uh, again distracted or still um, moving a lot in our minds, uh, we just, when we are aware, we know that we are already mindful and we, we just smile at that. And we can call it thinking or or label, and then we can bring ourselves back to our bodies and our breathing. So we become aware of our whole body sitting. Just feel Feel our whole body, the energy of our whole body sitting on the cushion, on the chair, our feet on the ground. Just feel the stillness of Mother Earth beneath us, the solidity. And just lean on Mother Earth through her love, her gravity, Breathing in, I'm aware of my whole body sitting. Breathing out, I'm aware of my whole body sitting. Breathing in, 
I smile to my body, this wonder of life. I am here for you, my dear body, breathing out I release all tensions in my body. Smile to body, releasing all tensions. bring our attention to our breathing in our belly or our chest or our tip of our nose or the back of our throat. We say hello to our good friend, our breath, wherever you are today. Breathing in, I become aware of my in-breath. Breathing out, I smile to my out-breath, aware of my in-breath, smiling. Breathing in, I follow my in-breath from beginning to end. Breathing out, I follow my out-breath from beginning to end. Following in-breath, following out-breath.
breathing in, I become aware that I'm alive. I touch all the conditions of happiness that give me this life. Breathing out, I smile with joy. Aware I'm alive, smiling with joy. Breathing in, I come back to this present moment, aware of my siblings breathing in with me, aware of my body, this beautiful present moment, the only moment we have. Breathing out, what a wonderful moment. Present moment, wonderful moment. So let's enjoy uh, three sounds of the bell. So thank you for your practice. You can slowly open your eyes and release your posture. Yeah. Just savor the energy that we created together. Give ourselves a massage. We can give ourselves a hug. A hug ourselves like this. We can turn to our left and our right and bow to our sibling. Thank you for giving me your energy today. Look them in the eye, smile. Yeah. How wonderful, huh? Mm. Uh, 
so uh, dear Sangha, we are now going to invite uh, Sister Trish um, to share her wisdom with us today. Mm. In, uh, in Plum Village, when we uh, listen to a Dharma talk, uh, we are always encouraged to imagine that we are the soil, the earth, and the Dharma talk is the rain. It's the rain. And the soil is our store consciousness, our alaya. Well, and uh, so we, rather than uh, try to uh, intellectually understand or j judge or think about what uh, our, our teacher is sharing, we allow the rain of the energy of the Dharma talk, the words, to just water the seeds in our soil. The seeds in our soil. Yeah. So we can relax, continue to smile and breathe, and, uh, and just keep our hearts and our minds open, open to, to, uh, to receive uh, the Dharma talk. And uh, the way we are also inspires our teacher. Our energy inspires our teacher. So, so if we can continue to practice being present, then our teacher will also uh, feel it and uh, share what is needed. <laughs> yeah, so, so I encourage everyone to let's just be soil today. Uh, just be soil. Okay. So with the uh, sound of the small bell, let's all rise and uh, we'll invite Sister Trish. And then with another sound, we bow and then, uh, and then I'll hand over to Sister Trish. Maybe we'll listen to the bell before she begins. Yeah. Thank you for listening to today. <laughs> 